Today's attacks are seemingly endless. They come from almost any source and exploit any number of different vulnerabilities. A security solution has to have the ability to stop all the more common attacks, but also each of the obscure or lesser known attacks. In this demo, we'll generate a script using Metasploit that is designed to create an encrypted communication channel between the attacker and victim. This channel will allow the attacker to deliver a malicious payload without the detection of a traditional HIPS-like product. To get started, I'll open the Metasploit framework and load the module Impersonate SSL. In this situation, I'll use a common URL, google.com, for example, and then run. Once that is completed, a certificate file will be created. In my situation, the file was placed into the Downloads folder. I'll move it to the desktop for ease of use for the other steps. Next, I'll configure a listener. I'll configure the IP address of the attacker machine and the port on which it should communicate. Next, I'll specify the path of the certificate file that I generated and placed on the desktop. And then finally, I'll configure validation of the SSL certificate for new connections. Once that is complete, the last step is to use MSF Venom to configure the payload. In this case, the payload will be a batch script that launches an encoded PowerShell command. Once that's done, the script, which I named CrowdStrike.bat, is output onto the desktop. Finally, to start the handler, I'll type run. Once that's listening, I'll move over to the victim machine and run the script. In a real scenario, the attacker would have to find a way to launch the script in the target environment. I'm going to skip delivery for brevity's sake, but delivery could happen in any number of ways, from phishing, watering hole, or the use of the stolen credentials. Launching the script from a command prompt, we briefly see the encoded command before the process is killed. In the Falcon UI, let's see what we were able to detect in that brief moment before the process was killed. Refreshing the UI, we see a new detection with a plus two. This indicates that there were multiple behaviors detected in this single event. Expanding the event, we can see the process tree that ends with the PowerShell process being stopped. The first thing I'd like to point out is the cmd.exe process that we started. In the execution details pane on the right, we see the command prompt opening. Then the next cmd.exe line is the script being loaded. We can see the full command line details as well. We can see that the script opens PowerShell and then runs an encoded command. Next in the process tree, we see that the PowerShell ran and the full encoded command generated by the MSF Venom tool in Metasploit. Finally, at the bottom of the process tree, there are three separate alerts associated with this process. The first is the prevention of the suspicious process. Next is the high severity suspicious activity that identified the encoded PowerShell command. And finally, Falcon recognized Meterpreter being loaded into a process. To get even more detail, we can expand the network operations and disk operations sections on the right. In the network operations section, we see the attacker IP and port number. And in the disk operations, all the DLLs accessed, files written, and files read are also listed. This demo is just a single example of the many different ways Falcon is designed to stop all kinds of attacks and provide insight into the adversary behavior. For more information on how Falcon stops breaches, head over to CrowdStrike.com.